Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Software Package Series. Today is our hands-on number four, and our topic for today is the beginner number four right here as your activity. And I'm going to discuss text label. Next is spill. Third is number as a label. Fourth is label using autocomplete. And the last is label using pick list. Now let's move to the text label. In Excel, everything you type is a text label. But what if it is a number? So let's proceed with this. So right here, if you'll notice, there's a what you call text label. You can look at that also in the formula bar because anything on the cell it appears also in the formula bar so text label you can change this one like uh, Villarreal and we're going to press enter and it will move to its uh, proper position and that's how we put text as label now how about a number so if a number could be put into the cell it is considered to be a number that that is the difference between a number and a text and a label cannot be computed so if we're going to check out this and let's uh, click auto sum there is a value because it is a number and this one is a label now there is a justification of identifying what is a label and what is a number so let's check it out so right now I click this one and we have sheet 1 then uh, let's put up 200 in magnification so that we can see now if you're going to type here 5 and press enter it goes to the right and if you're going to type A and you press enter it goes to the left if any data or alphabet character string sign and symbols goes to the right it is considered to be numeric or number if any character sign or symbol or number goes to the left it is considered to be a text label that is the difference between the two now let's proceed to the second topic we have spill so spill is something like it's over on the content or the width or size of the active cell for example if I'm going to type right here turn that eh? you will notice that it exceeds with the content of the active cell and if we're going to press it enter the next cell okay adjacent to this first cell that we've typed so it is over and that's what you call bill so this bill is over on its content any text any label that is considered to be over to its size it's considered to be spill now if we're going to type on the middle name like yet then press enter you will notice that the Sandata word or my name as first name is has been cut and in English it is a what you call truncated so truncated is something like position or spaces of the spill and you're going to cut it to make it exactly the way it is it is a what you call truncated now let's move on third topic we have the number as label now if this is considered to be a label then it will be computed but we're talking about a number must be a label and it will not be computed to make a number that is not been computed is that something like you're going to type single quote first then you're going to copy 0 0.45 then press enter you will notice that the number we type does not goes to the right because in right we can uh, sum or add and use calculation on it but in left we cannot because the number we type with a single quote is considered to be a label so another single quote that is a 0 0.35 that's it that is how we type number as a label there's a what do you call single quote at the beginning for topic label using autocomplete in autocomplete it identifies that you need to type a series of the same letters then the spreadsheet or the Excel will continue the rest of its sentences or words or even paragraphs. so let's have an example of this they are not similar to each other but they are all cookies now if I'm going to type here cookie comma space then I'm going to point out for example R it will autocomplete all the words 
or sentences that the cookie R starts with R as raisin with peanut and cream peas. And that's what you call autocomplete. Then what you need to do is to press enter. So no need to type all the rest of the, the letters or words because it is already generated. Let's uh, create another. So we have cookie, comma, and let's go with pitch. So we will notice there is a what you call do letter P. It starts with pitch and plain. So if there is a similar letter at the beginning of the word, you're going to type the next letter of it. Identify as pitch, then we're going to press letter E, autocomplete the other uh, words needed. Next, the last topic we have is the label using pick list. In this topic, no need to type any letters. Make it sure that you're going to put the, the words or the sentences next to the former inputted data. So right here, what you need to do is at the next cell on the column of pick list, then you're going to right click using a mouse. Afterwards, there's a what you call in the option, there's a what you call pick from drop down list. Then on this pick from drop down list, you can click that and you will notice everything that is been typed on the column pick list is also displayed as a, a listed uh, combo box. So if you're going to type uh, Saturn, you're going to click only. No need for a typing that's it okay right click pick from drop down list then Mercedes so that is the the beauty of Excel or spreadsheet using pick list and that's all for the topic for today thank you for watching and good luck